everyone, this is Rocco coming at you for it. my first 11.4, that seven full self driving drive. We are headed to a uh, furniture sale this morning, and this is fairly typical drive. This is going to be mostly highway, unfortunately, so it's not going to have um, anything super exciting. However, uh, the last update, 11.4, the six, we had um, adjusting speed for traffic flow. And that was a new feature that was hitting from the release notes. So we're gonna see if any new features have, um, have been added on the release notes. Um, GPS, I'm guessing, I've had some GPS issues on 11.4.6 where it was very inaccurate for like a minute until I got onto the highway. This is accurate this morning, but I, I suspect that is due to have the car's been awake all morning uh, updating. And so it's had time to get this GPS single. But yeah, we're gonna let's turn this on because it's getting hot in here already. Um, yeah, we're gonna do some tests this, this weekend. I uh, hope everyone is having a fantastic Friday and a fantastic week. And I hope you have a great weekend. We're gonna be pumping out a bunch of these videos this weekend, I think. And um, we're gonna see how it does. Oh, so that was pretty good. It's, it's so hard, it's gotten so good on that intersection, it's hard for me to tell, you know, has it improved. Um, that was about, that was just pretty human right there. And so this is a little bit slow getting up to speed. There's no traffic coming next to me. We could accelerate faster. Again, it needs to turn the blinker on in my opinion and get over. It still doesn't do that. The car behind me is already over. Sometimes that could happen because the car, I have actually had that happen. The car behind me will get on the highway and then start accelerating and then cut me off. And then my car can't merge. That's actually happened once before. So that is, that is an unrealistic scenario. Let's go ahead and up the speed and we will um, just come back if there's anything special. So it's st uh, slowed down for the speed limit, which is what it's supposed to be doing. However, no one goes 55 in this area. Like literally no one <laughs> goes 55 in this area. So it's almost, it's pretty unsafe in a way to go 55 mile an hour in, in this area. The person behind me is now tailgating me because they don't have regenerator braking. So they're having to use friction brakes to slow down. Um, though you need to be cautious of speeding in this area because it's a lot of construction in this cop car sitting here for a speed trap. The person behind me is now passing me. I'm going, you know, 61 in the 55. They're probably going 70, or sorry, 65 in the 55. Uh, yeah, what I wish they would enable, and this will probably never happen, but it's just it's wishful thinking, is uh, it will have a memory. It will remember where I've edited the speed limits. So I have a personal preference. So for your local area, at least, they can remember, okay, he ups the speed every time five mile an hour in this spot. We'll just go five mile an hour over. Um, he ups it 10 mile an hour in this spot. Okay, we'll go 10 mile an hour over. And it'll just do it by default. Now, if you wanna adjust it again, you can, but that'll at least 90% you know, of the time get the accurate speed that you, as the human driver, prefer. Now, once the car completely drives itself and you know we don't have to pay attention and I'm in the back seat on my phone, then perhaps I don't really care. Uh, and it can just go the speed limit. As long as it's safe, that's the important bit. So this is good lane change behavior. Well, kind of, get over. Okay, not good behavior. Notice, notice how I jammed on the brake right there. Because it didn't get over soon enough. should be really getting over behind this truck right here. Wow, they've, um, yeah, so I was on the average profile. Notice how this car on my right was passing me. It was tailgating me, but my car wasn't getting over. And I'm not sure why. I'm gonna hold it, like, I normally wouldn't do this. I would normally make it get over. But since this is a new version, we're testing new behaviors, and it should be getting over right now. This is mildly frustrating, actually. Um, at least fortunate it seems we're going to get in front.
front of this um, semi truck here. It, it just dinged at me saying it, telling me it wants to get over, which it should have got behind that truck. But fortunately, it was able to. Okay, get in front. What's it doing? Come on, get over. Get over. You can do it. They've definitely adjusted how it sees vehicles um, from the repeater cameras. It seems like it's more cautious now, and I'm not okay with this because it was actually very good on the last version. That was a weird swing out and then swing back into the, the exit ramp. Interesting. So it needs to, uh, if it's following the route well, it's going to stay in this right lane here. Good. Even though it has more space in the left lane, it's just stay in the right lane of the two turn lanes because it needs to make a right turn coming up right here so that's what i hope the ai is able to you know read the map data like hey we have a right turn coming up in a mile let's get in the right lane so we don't have to change lanes again that is more safe to do it that way and did they change this camera this looks skinnier and wider I'm not, I'm not. I'm not seeing things, am I, everyone? I'm pretty sure that preview camera right there was skinnier and wider than it was in the last version. Yeah, it's, it's kind of fun that they don't tell us what's changed so we can kind of figure it out. At the same time, I wish they would give us release notes. I wish they would just like give us a rele release note so, like, and when the wide release go goes out. So we kind of have to guess um, for the early beta test, just makes it kind of like a game, which is pretty fun to guess, you know, what changes were made in this version. You kind of pay attention more and it gives, it, it's more of a challenge. So if you guys notice anything I didn't, that I haven't said already, um, put them down in the comments below. See if you've noticed anything else. I, mean, I swear that camera is different. Maybe I'm just not seeing things. But, uh, yeah, uh, what we had, no disengagement so far, so good. I was pretty close to having one with, with the getting off the highway there. I was not comfortable with that. Interesting how it's turning the blinker on and off. They have made some changes. You, I, I would have guessed at the beginning, like, oh, there's not going to be no change. It's going to be basically no changes. This is for Hardware 4. They're just trying to get it out, combine the branches. But it seems like they have made some changes. I can't, it can't really pinpoint it yet. But definitely something has been changed. They're, as they, they are, they're going all neural nets for version 12. So my guess is there every version maybe of these dot releases are going to slowly add more neural nets. And we'll see what happens. Oh my goodness, they have a lot of people here. So uh, we're going to come back once we are done. Okay. Everyone, we are back coming into uh, crazy traffic. This sale is absolutely exploded in the last year. It used to be like a fifth this size. Now there's just cars everywhere and people and everything. It's just a, it's a old, uh, it's a hospice resale store. So I guess um, when they passed away, they took the furniture. And, um, and then you have unique very affordable furniture so i was looking for a few specific pieces for my house which i'll probably just <laughs> will ever find uh, it a, a tv cabinet and like a very specific size nightstand because i have a small house and um there's not much room so that's what i'm looking for so we're going to see how it does on the way back that type of situation that parking lot that's that's level five that, now this is interesting. It turned the blinker on. That that was clearly decisive that it needed to be in this right lane, which is the correct lane to be in. This is the lane you want to be in because you have to immediately get onto the highway here. So you don't want to mess around trying to change lanes. You might as well just get in the correct lane to get onto the highway. So that's very really good behavior. I'm hoping that's what they're um, doing is they are uh, changing around neural nets for the planner. That seemed... You know, it's hinting at being a little bit improved. But back to the parking lot. Wow, um, that's that's a level five situation. Level four doesn't have to do that, but level five most definitely does. I 
as it had the press accelerator just a tiny bit because I was, I was a little bit hesitant with that truck next to me. Um, yeah, so that parking lot, I just, like, that basically, I think, takes almost AGI to navigate a parking lot like that because it has to be able to, oh, it corrected itself. It got in the, this is the wrong lane. Um, it should not go through the intersection in that right lane. This right turn lane only goes to that parking lot right there. And of course, it kind of shouldn't be doing this. I mean, I don't, you tell me, is that appropriate? You're really not supposed to be going through the intersection like that. But the lane opens up immediately after the light, so I'm not sure if that's inappropriate or not. You shouldn't be going through uh, from the right lane, but they go from the middle lane to the right lane. Seems appropriate. It seems just ever so slightly smoother going around this like interaction of lanes and everything than it did uh, just last week with 11 that 4 that 6. gonna change lanes because it did last time it seems like well, what is it okay and I can't leave a message it, it thought it didn't it failed to merge of course this is what happens when I um, don't have autopilot enabled <laughs> um yeah so it's uh didn't merge. Okay, well that's a clear issue. Never had that happen before. Um, interesting. I bet this person beside me is like, well, afraid to pass me because they think I'm drunk or something. Um, but yeah, that was unexpected. And now this person, look at that person doing the same thing. Um, they're like swerving into my lane. Interesting. I was like they repainted the lines on this road too. So maybe that, maybe that's what it was. I didn't notice the lines on the merge being different, but the lines here are new. These have been repainted recently. Uh, that's yeah, that's a hard one. You guys, let me know in the comments. What do you think? they've gotten rid of the um, traffic flow behavior. I really hope they didn't. Because I really, really, really <laughs> enjoyed that feature. And I think the NTHSA or whatever BS is probably called them up like, yo, you can't have this feature. It was so nice because I'm like, I have to intervene every single time right here. Because I don't want to go 55 because quite frankly it's unsafe. You, you see how fast the cars are going right there. And that's with me going 5 over. They're going 10 to 15 over. And so it's just not safe uh, to go 15 under the cars around you. Like a, we were going at a slower speed. It seemed like a slightly smoother exit off the highway right there, but you know, we'll have to see on the drive tomorrow how that goes. The only other thing left to potentially improve is this unprotected left right here. Uh, we'll see if it has gained any confidence. Okay, we have a car coming from the right. And we are clear to go. It should go. It should go. It's just so, look, just look how timid it is. Like, that's just, it's too slow. It needs to, it needs to speed up. It's only done that turn good a couple times. Okay, everyone. Um, yeah, so besides that one clear major issue, I'm <laughs> not merging onto the highway, um, and it crashing on me. Then um, the software crashing, of course. Um, yeah, that uh, that was the first drive. Tell me what you think. Uh, a couple thing, minor improvements, maybe. Obviously, that was a downgrade for that merge. 
Yeah, we'll see you next drive. I, I never go off the first drive for what a first version's gonna be. I've had terrible first drives and the rest, like the next day, everything is amazing. So we'll see how it goes. I hope everyone has a great weekend. See you later. Bye.